I don't, I don't think I'll uh, visit with you the rest of the week. So I just wanted to confirm that Coach Smith um, did resign. I know you've all heard a lot about that, but he, is, he did resign. Um, we will have an announcement in the near future about his replacement, uh, but that's really all I can say about it at this point. Are you anywhere uh, closer in the process with a another is a tenth assistant? I am. Uh, yeah, we're we're getting getting closer on that as well. So by the time uh, you know we get back together after Thursday with spring break, everything should be in place. When when were you aware of Coach Smith's resignation? Um, just recently, um, you know, in the last week or so, we've been working through that. How we if when you. We're looking for a replacement. Kind of what were you kind of wanting to go? Well, um, you know, obviously, you know, that room, there's been some instability in that room, you know, since I've been here. So I was just looking for somebody uh, that I could bring in that do a great job at developing these players. And uh, obviously, recruiting is always extremely important to us. Um, so uh, the person that I have in mind, I've, I've known for a few years actually visited once before about an opportunity here. Um, has some very good experience and uh, should be a great addition. Anybody else? Everybody good? All right, thank you. We'll have okay. our office folks here shortly. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. You want a kid? <laughs> Stay right <Yeah. laughs> Next man up. <laughs> How'd it go on Saturday? Uh, Saturday was real good. Uh, I was really excited about it. You know, you get pads on, and it's just it's a different, different vibe. We had great weather, and we were able to get outside. And uh, I thought uh, from practice one and two, we did get better at practice three. What have you seen? I mean, obviously talking about the wide receiver coaching position, but from that position, how have you seen those guys? I'm seeing more. I'm seeing more leadership. I'm, I'm seeing guys kind of taking the bull by the horn, and, and, and they're uh, keeping each other accountable. I'm really uh, excited right now about their effort and, and the way they've started spring practice. And we talked about consistency, and so far they're, they're I think four for four in terms of competing, uh, the hustle, you know, they're, they're kind of back to some normal offense, just so getting some balls, and so they're getting, they're excited about that. So I'm really excited about that moving right now. Is it how important is it for those guys to step up when there is some transition in terms of coaching just to police themselves and take some leadership? That, that's exactly right. That's what we've done. And, uh, you know, it's just like when John's gone, the old line takes care of, you know, their business. And, uh, it's it's uh, all hands on deck, you know, and that's what it's been. And so it's been really good that way. Is it Josh that's kind of stepped up as a leader? Or is it really a back committee? You know, it's really been Josh. It's been Cleveland. It's been Alan Daly. Those are the three right now, but really Josh and Cleveland have done a heck of a job. Uh, in your running back room last year, it felt like all three kind of hit walls at different points in the season. Chris kind of started slow, smoke um, in the middle of the year, and then AJ really turned it on at the end. What, what can they do this spring to, to not hit those in the fall? Yeah, I think part of that happens in the fall. You know, um, the good thing is we're really deep at that position. So, you know, if, if that guy's not getting it done, you can put a guy in there. And, and we got production out of all three of them. If you look at the production and you look at their yards per carry, uh, it was pretty impressive. So, uh, you know, I guess this spring, you know, I'm really looking to see if, if somebody's going to just take the position uh, or is it going to be running back by committee, you know. And then we'll have certain plays that, that we can do that some are better than others that, that we'll get them in there. But uh, last year I felt like they could do anything. It didn't matter what we called. Everybody can do uh, the offense that we were running last year. This year, I think we'll have some stuff in the passing game that will allow us to pick and choose who we put out there. That's true. I think in December, before the ball breaks, we talked a little bit about you getting the experiment in the spring with Travis and Tay-Tay and those guys with a lot of speed, finding ways to get them in the office. Have you done that yet? What do you kind of see from those guys? We have. Tay-Tay got a nice ball here just uh, right before we ended practice on a deep ball and made a competitive catch, and that was really good to use his speed out there. and. Uh, you know, with Travis, you know, he's broken some pretty good runs already. Uh, so it's going to be fun when we get back to have that first scrimmage to really see those guys in space uh, and, and how far they've come. You know, I really want to work some of the young guys, uh, you know, with the twos and with the ones. You know, I know what the ones can do and, and, and see if those guys can, when the bullets are flying, what they're, what they're about. What do you see from the quarterbacks? 
Uh, you know, day one, two, and three, we kept uh, three installs in. Uh, I thought on day three we threw the ball better. Uh, they were they were locked in pretty good. Today it wasn't as good, um, but you know we had a lot of movement, and that's good for us. And uh, we got to be better at protection. And, I, I thought it was a little bit fast for him today, so I'm excited to see what happens on Thursday. But, uh, you know, the, the progression with him uh, is really good. What would be your message, uh, parting message Thursday before they go on a little break? You know, number one always when you go to spring break is, is you got to take care of your business and, and, you know, make sure you're running and, and getting yourself, you know, you, you have all this time. It's crazy because you go all this time in January and Coach Ed and them have worked with those guys like crazy, and they're in pretty good shape. Uh, is it make sure you're, you're moving around and you're running and uh, then when we come back you know coach always talks about you're either getting better or you're getting worse and we got to come back with a mindset that when we come back on that Tuesday that we get better we'll have an install on Thursday that'll be number four and then scrimmage so it'll be their first test so it's going to happen fast. How much in communication are you saying with Terry through all this he talks about taking mental rest. Yeah, he's there every day. He's back there and, and he's going through them and he's throwing the ball some and he's getting the opportunity to throw routes on air and uh, so that confidence is being built and uh, so he can do a lot of stuff technically uh, to get him better but then the mental part for him is to be back there and going through his reads and you know he's back there with the ball and you know he's going through one, two, three, boom. Where we, you, know, you ask him, hey, where would you go with that ball? And, He's got to be reading it and doing that at the same time. So he's getting the mental reps. It's tough when you're not getting the full speed reps, but you got to you got to do what you got to do. When you're coaching a guy that's coming back from an injury like that, I mean, how much? What just from what you've seen in the past? What's the toughest part? Of that? Yeah, the tough part, toughest part for him is going to be the first time getting hit, right? I mean, it's going to be where he gets hit and he goes, "Okay, everything's fine." But the doctors were right. You know, it's like that with anybody. I think uh, it's just that full speed. Uh, once that happens, I think you know you'll see a guy that builds confidence in as each game goes. And it, I think Vince said it on signing day that you had kind of pinpointed Juton McLean early as the running back that you wanted in that class. What, what was it about him that made you so well, sure? Well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm impressed with that young man. He is tough. He will stick his face in there. He does a great job at blitz protection. He is not afraid of anything. And a little bit like Travis Tisdale, you know, he's got that burst. Uh, he's very smooth. Can catch the ball. So. Uh, well, I think we've got a really good one there. I'm excited about where he's at right now already. Uh, you coach him one time and, and he gets it fixed. Hey, uh, first of all, I noticed you coughed into your elbow, so that's good. <laughs> yes. that's good. Um, it's kind of off the off the subject here, but you, you coach Coach Tuberville. You work for Coach Tuberville. Are you surprised at all that he got into politics? Absolutely not. You know, he's, uh, that's one thing when you talk about a recruiter and all that, that's what, you know, part of it is being a politician. And uh, he's uh, as good as I've seen around people. Uh, and, uh, you know, you know his message out there, and, 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 and he's for the people, and, and that's just who he is. That's who he's always been. So uh, he'll, be, he'll be great. Everybody good? Thank you. Thank you.